Now to the nation's opioid drug epidemic. A new report today offered some hope in the fight to curb abuse. Meg Terrell has more. The numbers on the opioid epidemic are staggering. Over two decades, almost 400,000 people died in the United States from an overdose of the drugs. But new data today from health researcher IQVIA show progress in at least one area. The volume of prescribed opioid painkillers last year declined by a record 17 percent to the equivalent of about 34 pills per American adult. The data show opioid prescriptions peaked in 2011 at about 72 pills per adult. The decline was largely driven by fewer high-dose prescriptions which are associated with a greater risk of addiction and overdose. There's an overall much greater level of awareness um, of some of the risks of uh, prescribing uh, opioids. Uh, and there have been restrictions put in place really across the board to try to reduce particularly the use of the high dose uh, prescriptions. The study also shows an uptick in medication assisted treatment for opioid addiction, something researchers say is key for making a dent in the epidemic. But progress is uneven across states. We found that uh, certainly in the New England states there's very high use of medication assisted therapies. Um, Maine and, and Vermont in particular um, are really using those medication assisted uh, therapies. As the epidemic has evolved, more opioid overdose deaths have been driven by use of illicit drugs like fentanyl. But public health officials say curbing use of prescription opioids is still an important step. If you look at the, the rates of new addiction, so historically the people who became newly addicted to opioids became addicted through a lawful prescription. A lot of the new addiction was from medical prescribing. More and more of the new addiction are actually people whose first exposure is going to be an illicit drug. So the nature of the crisis is evolving. And while the news today is encouraging, researchers say it's important to view it in context of the ongoing epidemic. We are doing better than a few years ago. Still, there's a long way to go. We have um, much higher use than in other countries. We still have very high overdose rates. So these, we, we shouldn't take this as everything is done. Maybe the worst years of the epidemic are over. As Health Secretary Alex Azar put it recently, the country is far from the end of the epidemic, but it's perhaps at the end of the beginning. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.